Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone out there is doing fantastic. Today's video is going to hopefully address some questions you may have had with the Nextbase series of cameras, uh, most notably the 622 GW. Uh, one question that I get a lot is night vision. What does the footage look like? So with night vision or enhanced night vision as Nextbase calls it, it's not exclusive to the 622. It's actually on a number of their cameras from the 322, 422, 522 and 622. So I do have footage in here um, from the 622. I've got still pictures um, of things like license plates, which is the next question that I get a lot. What does it look like when you take a still picture? Can you read details such as signs and license plates, that type of thing? So whether it be daytime or nighttime, I've got that comparison here for you. And then one of the bigger ones, which is exclusive to the 622 is this image stabilization. So I do have a bunch of footage uh, for you that I prepared. Um, but to do it properly, I had to compare the 522, which doesn't have image stabilization, versus the 622, which does. And as you notice with all the screenshots that I'm going to show and all the footage that I'm going to show, it's all labeled clearly so you can see which camera it was, what resolution it was running at. And uh, I'm going to let you guys be the judge of all the footage that you see. And if you really are interested in what these dash cams can do by next phase, I think this should clean up a lot of those questions. Before we look at the footage, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Um, but also one more question quickly I'm going to answer right now. I've been asked a few times, what's the maximum SD or micro SD card size capacity you can put in the camera? Well, Nextbase says you have to use their brand that's recommended and the 128 um, would be the largest. I run 32s in mine and it's fine for driving every other day, but a road trip you might want to go to a 64 or 128. But that's enough of me talking. Let's have a look at the footage. All right, so that was all the still frame footage. You saw there was daytime shots, nighttime shots of license plates, just various detail, whether we were in motion or not. Again, the enhanced night vision is available on four of their cameras, so there's no real comparison here. It's just whether or not you determine if you like it. Um, but looking ahead, we're gonna look at image stabilization. There's gonna be daytime, nighttime. But if you remember, I'm gonna have the 522 footage that doesn't have image stabilization. There'll be footage at 1080p and 1440p, 2K. And then there'll also be footage from the 622, which has image stabilization on uh, as a feature. And there'll be 1080p footage, 1440p 2K footage, and 2160p footage or 4K. Um, so at the end, I'll have them all compared together. There'll be four streams on the screen. You can decide what looks best. One interesting thing though, as you're looking at the image stabilized footage or versus the uh, footage that's not stabilized, is look at the hood of the vehicle. Uh, in this case, the Cadillac, you can see the hood when it's image stabilized, the hood's the only thing moving. The horizon is pretty still. With the 522 footage, there's no image stabilization, so everything's moving. And uh, it, when you look for that, then you start to notice the differences. Anyway, I'll shut up, you go watch.
right, well, hopefully that cleared up a lot of your next base dash cam questions. Uh, leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support. If you don't want to, that's okay too, but I'd rather have you a subscriber. Anyway, we'll talk to you next time.